What's up guys, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com and today we're going to talk about something that most tarantula owners, or at least want to be tarantula owners, really want to know and that is what does a tarantula bite feel like? And maybe some of the most experienced, more experienced ones want to know that too if they've never experienced such a thing. Hopefully you haven't. But anyway, if you are new to my channel, I post tarantula info, like little stories or facts and topics every single week as part of my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter series, um, which comes out every week, of course. Um, and I also have a Tarantula Heaven Facebook group and page that I run um, and a bunch of other tarantula stuff, but I'll get to that later. But if that sounds like stuff that you would like, if you love tarantulas too, please consider subscribing um, so you can always stay up to date with what new subjects I am tackling that week. So anyway, you know, um, people who are interested in being a tarantula owner for the first time, it usually comes with a little bit of anxiety because there's just so many care requirements and we're not used to taking care of these kind of creatures. So, you know, aside from things like, you know, how does a tarantula get sick? How can it get injured? What do I do? Because there's not really tarantula doctors um, or people who can handle that kind of stuff. Um, another common question is like, what if I get bit? What if I get injured? What kind of dangers are there surrounding having this animal? And especially for new tarantula owners who are interested in handling uh, tarantulas, this is really, really concerning because they want to know in advance what they should be prepared for or if they even should consider handling their tarantula. And before we move on, I would like to kind of just put a disclaimer out there that um, handling a tarantula is really your choice. No one can really tell you, but you do want to definitely educate yourself on safe handling practices. Um, I will definitely leave a link to a really great video that shows you how to handle a tarantula safely below. If you must do it, I will like to say that tarantulas don't get anything out of handling. It's really just for you. It actually stresses them out more than anything else, I think. So, um, and a lot of tarantulas really don't like it and they'll let you know. So be very careful, proceed with caution, and just keep in mind that your tarantula probably doesn't like it. It's just something that, you know, tarantulas are kind of a, an animal that you want to love from afar. And that's kind of what I had to learn with my spiders. I've never been bitten, but I just know that handling makes Spidey in here hiding very, very anxious. And I don't like to do it to her very often. But anyway, so if, if you are thinking about handling, um, I mean, you should still know what a spider bite might feel like, but even if you don't handle, because you never know if an accident might happen when you're feeding your tarantula, or if you're rehousing them or moving them from one place to the next. Um, um, accidents happen and um, just be prepared and be prepared what to do and what to expect to kind of avoid things from being worse. So the answer to this question can really vary. It depends on the size of the tarantula, the species, um, its temperament. It also depends on how big you are, what your pain tolerance is, um, and where the bite might happen. So this is different for everybody. And you know, what might affect one person might not affect somebody else too badly. And of course, it will also depend on whether or not you are allergic to tarantula venom or you know tarantula bites, because that will definitely affect the kind of experience that you have have if you get bitten by a tarantula. And the next thing is, it depends on what kind of bite it is. There's actually two different types of tarantula bites, um, either a dry bite or a wet bite, and we will get into that a little bit later. So when I first looked into this as a new tarantula owner a few years ago, uh, I found multiple websites that were telling me that, oh, don't worry about it, it just feels like a bee sting. And now as a more experienced tarantula owner, while I've never been bitten, I've seen enough forums, enough Facebook posts, enough YouTube videos to know that that is not true at all. Maybe for some species and maybe for some people, but I've seen a bunch of really, really bad bites. And I do have an accompanying blog post to this video in the links below that has a bunch of videos um, from, for example, YouTuber Tarantula Guy 1976 that show some of his reactions after he's gotten bitten. There's one really crazy video um, where he got bitten by, I believe it was his, um, it was a pokey, yeah, it was a 10 inch pokey and it bit him and he had all sorts of cramping, he was having numbness, um, he was in an extreme amount of pain and I think he actually, he ended up going to the hospital, um, although he did kind of document it to have a bite report, um, but he went to go to the hospital and uh, he was actually ended up being fine, thank God. But it, you know, you have to watch the video because it's very obvious that he's in an extreme amount of pain. And now that is a big tarantula, so that probably had something to do with it. But you know, some of these tarantulas, especially the oval tarantulas, they have very potent venom and a bite from them can be pretty bad. And there was also another um, 
bite report done by Rob Carmen, who's trench like guy, 1976 on YouTube, and uh, it was a different spider juvenile. Um, it was another pokey, I believe. Um, and he also, it was still pretty painful. I don't think it was as bad though. Now, if you are allergic to bee stings, you may not be allergic to tarantula venom. Unfortunately, this is something that you probably won't find out until it's too late or it already happened. But, um, there was actually was a bite report done recorded by Reaper's Ride on YouTube. Um, it was a Chaco Goldney tarantula who had, um, bitten a, a girl on his video and she was actually very allergic to bee stings and she did not have that kind of reaction to the tarantula bite so that's good um and it had bitten her f finger um so I guess it kind of depends on the person she did say in the video that she had some swelling and numbness but luckily she didn't have any like respiratory issues like she might have had if it had been a bee sting so i guess it kind of depends on the person if you're looking for maybe a more descriptive way of, of how a tarantula bite happens um, i'd like to share a bite report from white lightning 777 on tarantulaforum.com i'm just going to read what he wrote because i think it it kind of uh, goes through the whole process of the bite and the aftermath and stuff like that. Um, and now he did have um, a pretty graphic photo with this that showed like his hand being very red. There was a lot of blood. Um, this happened from a T. Sturmy, so that's you know a pretty brutal spider to get bitten by. Um, but if you go to my blog post that's connected to this video, you can find the link to that post so you can see those photos if you really want to. <laughs> but anyway, this is what he wrote. He said, it didn't start to hurt real bad until I tried squeezing the venom out and then I started bleeding like a stuck pig. Uh, the whole thing happened pretty fast, split second. I'm typing this left-handed and had to call off to work. I'm not sure what I'm going to tell them. It's like, yeah, can you imagine? <laughs> like, my tarantula bit me, can't come to work. Um, it's like when those big wall wasps get you, but with more mechanical damage. It took a while to get the blood off because it basically didn't clot for quite a while. These pics were taken before the venom fully kicked in. Those fangs go real deep. It obviously hit at least one blood vessel and the bone under the bite itself actually hurt. The pain felt deep, unlike a wasp sting. He actually was okay. He didn't go to the hospital. Um, but yeah, I mean, the fangs can go in pretty deep. Some tarantulas have some pretty big fangs. You want to be mindful that it's not just about the venom. It's also about the mechanical damage that might happen to your hand or whatever they're going to bite. So tarantula bites can really differ in terms of side effects, the damage that was done, and the pain level that happens. And if you were thinking about getting a tarantula, it's a really good idea to go onto forums like arachnoboards.com or tarantulaforum.com and kind of read the bite reports for that particular tarantula. Now, you probably won't have the same exact um, reaction or um, experience as everybody in those forums, but um, it's good to know what to expect and kind of see the potency of the venom that you're, of the spider that you're trying to acquire. And so now we're going to get into the types of tarantula bites, how I had mentioned wet uh, bites and dry bites before. Now dry bites are a little bit easier to handle because those are the bites where there's mechanical damage, the fangs have gotten in to the skin, but no venom was released. So a lot of people don't know that um, venom is not released with every bite. The wet bites are the ones that will probably hurt the most and have the most damage and that you really have to worry about because that's when the venom is actually excreted from the fangs. So if you do get bitten by a tarantula, there are some side effects that you should definitely be prepared for so you don't get too alarmed or too crazy, stressed out. Um, and so I'm just going to read off a ton of them because um, there are quite a bit. So generally, a lot of people experience, you know, pain, itching, numbness, redness, um, swelling after the bite. In more severe potent cases of tarantula venom, like, you know, an old world tarantula, there's extreme pain, sweating, tightness in the chest, muscle cramping, and spasms, and uh, respiratory issues have also been reported. So you really want to think about whether you want to handle your tarantula or whether you want to be careless around these animals. Because, you know, if you make a mistake, you could get tagged. And, you know, I don't doesn't sound like a fun time. And now I'm going to include this just for safety because, um, I see a lot of um, new tarantula owners not really knowing what to do and not really thinking that they should research this until after they get a tarantula. So I do want to mention this. What should you do if you do get bitten by a tarantula? 
So um, the unfortunate thing about a tarantula bite, which I kind of mentioned before, is that you will not know if you're allergic to the venom until it's too late probably. Um, so a good thing to do is to have maybe something like an EpiPen on hand or some hydrocortisone or anti-itch cream or Benadryl anti-allergy pills on hand just in case because um, it will you know, maybe not only save you an allergic reaction, but it might also help you with the pain and the swelling. So that is good to have on hand beforehand. Um, now, a lot of wounds are okay with just being cleaned with like soap and water and then maybe putting an ice cube or like a cold compress on to kind of take the swelling down and induce numbness. But in some cases, you will have to seek medical attention and I would say better safe than sorry. You don't wanna play around with this. So if you experience any of the following, like abdominal cramping, nausea, trouble breathing, chest tightness, and a headache, um, you should definitely seek medical attention don't wait too long. You know, if you have an instinct that something is wrong, you know your body best, don't play with it and just go. In closing, I would really like to point out that even though we're talking about tarantula bites and it seems like, oh wow, it seems like I have a high chance of being bitten maybe, um, that's not true. Tarantula bites are actually pretty uncommon and while there is a big risk that you take with having an animal like this, um, tarantulas will never bite you to be mean to you. They're not evil, aggressive creatures like, you know, the world kind of paints them out to be. If they bite you, it's either an accident or it's by complete defense. They felt threatened or scared and they were trying to defend themselves. They will never just go after you for no reason. Um, so usually with tarantulas, if you respect them and their space and you don't get up close and personal, they are totally fine. And um, so if you do happen to get bitten, don't take it as your tarantula is like this terrible biting machine that is just evil because that's not the case and um you know these animals are just instinctual creatures and they are just trying to protect themselves a tarantula will never bite you unprovoked and another thing i'd really like to point out is that tarantulas will usually give you warning signs when they are feeling like they need to defend themselves so something that they will do is that they will either kick hairs um they will try to run away from you and try to get away and retreat or they'll put up a threat pose, kind of signaling to you that, hey, if you don't back off, I'm going to have to defend myself. So tarantulas usually do not bite without kind of using some sort of warning sign. Now, some tarantulas are very fast and they might just, you know, go for it, but um, usually there's some sort of warning sign involved. And if you ignore these warning signs, then, you know, you might've had it coming to you. Um, so, just be careful and respect these animals because no one wants to be in the position of being bitten or endangering their spider. If you have ever been bitten by your tarantula, please let me know what it was like for you in the comments below. Um, I think that we can learn a lot from each other when we share our experiences. I myself, like I said, I've never been bitten, but I'm really interested in learning um, different opinions of what it feels like or what kind of aftercare you did to kind of um, take care of the problem and um, if your spider was okay afterwards because sometimes accidents happen during a bite. Um, so anyway, please share your experiences below. And if you like this video, please do subscribe. I put out a video along with my Tarantula Tuesday newsletter every single week. And uh, if you'd like to learn more about tarantulas, I have a tarantula guide that I will leave in the links below. I also have a tarantula magazine that I'm working on called The Spinneret. I put it out every two months and you can check that out in the link below. And I do also have a Patreon page, which you can kind of access some behind the scenes stuff as well as a tarantula magazine subscription. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next week. Bye.